G'day and welcome to Ways World. My name's Rogan. I'm the editor of Ways Magazine. Thanks for tuning in. Our lovely viewers at Fuel TV. Nugget returning from his holiday. Nugs, good times? Yeah, absolutely. It was up in Lenny's head. Alright, that's enough, mate. We don't want to hear about your holidays, <laughs> but you were. Where were you at the that Rusty Grom Fest? So, uh, I wasn't expecting that. That no, was good. It was good, mate. <laughs> let's just get to the chase. We have Davey Cathals coming into the house. We're going to be talking Rebel Tours and we're looking at some exclusive footage from Davey's traps around the last few months. Yep. And of course, the big one, Ry Craig's film, coming very, very soon. Mm. So, enough of the bullshit. Let's get straight into it, Davey. Let's get him in here, in the hot seat. In the hot seat, we've got Davey Cathals, the young North Narrabeen surfer. Now, Davey's actually currently rated fifth on the ASP Australasian Junior Series ratings, and we thought it pertinent to get him in to talk to us because it is the future issue. So, Davey. The ASB versus the ESPN. Yeah. What's your thoughts on it? Um, I haven't really heard too much about it, but I immediately, I just don't think it's a very good idea to have two tours because you'll have, you know, you could end up with like two world champions in one year, which would be pretty weird. And yep. I just think they should just focus on making the a the ASP a better tour. Yep. So just a bit of background there in case you're uh, wondering what we're talking about. There is uh, an alleged rebel tour that's uh, rumbling about in the, in the hoods. It's meant to be spearheaded with uh, Kelly Slater's manager, Terry Hardy, and yep. a boxing provider, Matt Tinsley, and it's gonna be uh, rumored to be on ESPN, the American uh, Sports Channel Network. So, uh, big money, 16 surfers, and that's all the talk in the surfing world at the moment. Obviously, it's a ways away for yourself off. Yep. If someone threw you a million bucks to compete in eight events for 300,000, what would you do? I'd go with the money. There You're very go. rebellious, that doesn't yeah. surprise me. There you go with the money. So I think that's what, that's what it comes down to, isn't it? There's, yeah. a, there's, yeah. a, there's a lack of money and there's a lack of funding and some of the top guys are a little bit jaded by it. But we talked a bit earlier off camera about how it's also hard for the guys that have been competing on the qualifying series for so long. Yeah. And if they actually qualified for the World Tour, how would they feel? Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty hard slog. I mean, you can get on there for like five or six years, you know, getting unlucky and then you finally make it and all of a sudden, you know, it's not the thing you're trying to compete to get on and it kind of sucks but I know I just hope they just fix up the ASP and just make it like a massive mainstream sport get on the TV and stuff and make us thousands instead of millions yep yep and mate uh... <laughs> millions instead of thousands <laughs> That's clearly, clearly future uh, CEO of the ASP. ASP. <laughs> That's why pro servers don't run the ASP. <laughs> just, just a little note there. No, uh, and Dave, you also look the future issue nugget mentions in this mag. A couple of future stars. You're obviously one of Australia's brightest young guys coming out of the, the ranks. Who else do you think uh, should we be watching out for? Um, definitely should be watching out for Owen. Oh, it's pretty easy. He's pretty tall. And then you got <laughs> Julian Wilson as well. He's phenomenal. And then you got. You know, guys my age, like Garrett Parks, he's ripping, and Dean Bowen, he's pulling at 20 yep. footers, and, and then you got guys below me, like Coop Chapman from Narrabeen, and Matt Banting, and Creed McTaggart, and then overseas guys like uh, Chloe and Dino, just on fire. Yeah. Yep. Now, mate, uh, you're actually left off the list of the Hot 100 trip uh, this year, which is actually run by a particular mag that I won't mention here, a Revere Junior trip. Yeah. Now, mate, how do you plan to fill in your time? I've, uh, albeit I've heard you're a chronic masturbator, so that'll sort of <laughs> get a couple of days, but... Uh, That's only 30 seconds in a day, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, about other, you know, like 24 hours, I'll just probably be surfing, trying to nail shots and, you know, try and do some filming here and there. And yep. Try and fill the void. That's right, Davey. We love you, mate. There's plenty of pages we fill it ways, mate. So uh, slip him 50 bucks and yep. page one's all yours, mate. Thanks for coming in, Davey. You heard it here first at Waysville. Davey Cathels. Thanks very much. No worries, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, big fella. That was exciting. Young Davey Cathels from North Narrabeen. Uh, very uh, interesting viewpoints from the young man regarding the ASP versus the ESPN. Yeah, indeed. Actually, he's uh, he's very well spoken for a uh, Narrabeen lad, isn't he? Indeed. Sometimes there's no reason to shout, and that's why. That's why we're wearing we're, these shirts. Indeed, Rose. Nugget. We are the Cool Cats and Rusty of Tennessee shirts. They're blanks. They're part of the Rusty Blank series. Yep. And uh, there's nothing to shout about, mate. It's not loud. It's not in your face. It's no. Cool as. And uh, importantly, mate, 100% organic. So it's uh, it's good for the environment, saving the world. Part of their global cooling campaign, also part of their campaign. Mate, are these rusty board shorts. Josh Kerr's yeah. signature one, ecosystem body, super stretch, incredible pair of shorts. So you can check out all Rusty's blank shirts and part of their global cooling campaign at rusty.com.au. Nugs, quick bit of surfing before we throw away. Time is running up. 
We have Ry Craig's new film coming out. There's no I in Go Right. Right, big fella, coming out in October with Waves. So Indeed. Nudge, let's check out a bit of footage now. Let's do it. Until next time. Stop talking about it. We'll stop talking about it now. Now? Yep. yep. Now, let's stop now. talking now. About now. <laughs> okay, au revoir. Until next time. Wind and the waves are pretty sick today, so we're going to take a short car ride and then a long boat ride up to the new little spot. And I'm um, going to bring you guys with me to check out some behind the scenes stuff for my upcoming movie, There's No Iron Go Ride. Yeah, check it out. Just got up to the new little zone. And it's, um, it's looking pretty good in there. There's some, probably some six footers rolling, spinning. Got another human for miles. And we're out there, it's gonna be arrows for the boys today! <laughs> That is sick day uh, up the coast of the new secret location. Um, it was on again, that's probably about the fifth, fourth or fifth time we surfed it now and just every time we've been going there it's blowing me away. So it's been a good day actually, got pitted all day with the boys, dad and now just out here fishing and the fish are absolutely going off. It's just gone on a big school of Mulloway and they've yeah, we've just been nailing them, so it's been a good day, a few beers, fucking, woo!